masturbation. Do you want to talk a little bit about what mindful masturbation is? Sure. Uh, what happened to me in 1995 was, as I said, you know, I had always wanted to remain in a, in a high erotic state for a lot longer, not just through edging by, you know, staying close to ejaculation but never going over the edge, which that can get a little limiting too, I think, you know, because you're just trying, you're struggling to hold yourself in a certain place. I wanted to just be there and kind of live a significant part of my life in this, it's heaven on earth, it's bliss, you know. I mean, when you're really aroused and feeling erotic pleasure, you really enter the present moment in a sense, you know. You stop thinking about other things and you're just enjoying your bliss and ecstasy. If you can really, really stay there for prolonged periods, it's powerful and begins to change you. And what happened to me, Nils, is that I, gosh, a year before I did this, I saw an ad in a magazine called Libido for, for a video called Fire on the Mountain, created by Joseph Kramer. And he's an amazing man. He's a, a, a sexual pioneer and one of, I think one of the very greatest, if not the greatest, sex educator in the world on the planet right now. And I would say that because he's, he's the one who also includes the heart and the soul and the mm -hmm. spirit as well as the genitals and the body. He really, really has a, a deep and wonderful uh, yeah. way of presenting these things. But anyway, I ordered this video called Fire on the Mountain Male Genital Massage. And it has to do with a practice he developed called Taoist Erotic Massage. And at the time that I, I got this video, it was before everybody had DVDs even. This was like 16 years ago. I popped it into the player and started watching and I went, oh my God, you know, I had always been interested in Tantra and Taoist teachings. Mantak Shia is a great Taoist master. But the books that I read on the subject were always a little veiled or, or they were just difficult to understand. They made it sound like, wow, you're going to have to spend seven years in a cave, you know, doing this. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> but lacking anyone else to do this Taoist erotic massage with, I went through the whole thing. I did it by myself. And what I would do is I'd stretch and relax. I'd do my breathing and stretching and relaxing and I'd get my, my chaise lounge out with towels all over it and I'd heat up some coconut oil and put on some trancey music, you know, and light a candle and, and do all this stuff. And then once I was relaxed and breathing and properly and all this, I would begin to pleasure myself. And the first few times it was so intense, I lost it very quickly and just ejaculated, you know. Oh, wow. it's like It was really quick, you know, because it felt so incredible. About the the third time, probably, that I tried to do this, I caught on. Somehow I got the trick, you know? And the trick is to really, really do the breathing, to stay relaxed. This is and another thing that's very important about mindful masturbation is to invite your entire body to participate. You, you don't limit it to your genitals. You, the breathing and relaxing, and I have three basic, I'll go ahead and relate this directly to male erotic alchemy in a moment here, but... The three basic keys to what I call mindful masturbation are continuous breathing, belly breathing, all the way down into your abdomen okay. so that your lower diaphragm below your lungs is going down with each in-breath gotcha. and your belly goes out. And with your out-breath, your belly goes in, so you're really getting clean, fresh oxygen. The second one is staying relaxed because you tense up your muscles, it's a lot harder to avoid ejaculating and you're not going to be breathing properly. Stay relaxed. The third one is a variety of stroking yourself, caressing your whole body as well, and changing positions, getting up, standing, walking around, do a headstand, you know, whatever. Just move at times and change positions. And what's interesting is if you just train yourself to, with those three things, you begin to arouse every cell in your body. You have you know, what, 100 trillion cells maybe in your body is an estimate. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. They'll all light up. And so this can lead to what I call male erotic alchemy, which is really using this energy to transform yourself within, to become a different kind of person. And, and it's, that doesn't mean you should change. There's something wrong with you. What it means is all of us tend to, um, at times, especially when we're young, and sometimes for our whole life, to try to be things we're not, or people we're not really. We're presenting ourselves to someone, maybe. And when you begin to enter this process, you'll just naturally start to drop a lot of that. It falls away from misuse. 
you know, it's just not being used. So I'm familiar, you know, I have an alchemist friend, he's trying to turn lead into gold. Right. Um, but you're not talking about that kind of alchemy, you're talking about this inner transformation, basically? Yes. I, I do believe that, that alchemy as a traditional practice always had at least two levels, but maybe several levels of meaning. And one was always not transforming base metal into gold, but transforming yourself into the essence of your being. Who are you really? There's one more thing that I include in male erotic alchemy, and that is the three forms of male solo sex magic. Um, sex magic is simply uh, based on what I consider real magic is the art of altering consciousness at will. What I call male solo sex magic, and, and it's not that I'm saying that you know masturbation is better than other forms of sex, or that's the only kind of sex you should have, but if you put some focus on that, you can really, really focus your energy in ways that you can't necessarily usually with a partner. You know, partnered sex is one of the great joys of life too, of course. But um, with your solo practice, you can really, really create a different focus that is um, a lot more clear and concise. And the three forms of, of what I call male solo sex magic are, the first one is transforming yourself by learning not to ejaculate so often and using that energy that you absorb and keep in your body to become a a higher kind of being. When I first started doing this, a lot of people noticed this. If you, if you learn to do this, which many people learn it through Taoist practice, pe you meet strangers and they don't want to leave your company. They just, <laughs> even if you're just trying to get rid of them, you try to brush them off, they just kind of stay there, you know. Wow. And little children and dogs and animals will start following you around. It's really strange. Yeah, it, your aura shifts and somehow, you know, you become a different kind of person. The second one, that's that's based a lot on learning not to ejaculate so often. It, I'm not saying you should never, but you know, learning to cultivate, keep it in your body at least for a matter of a few days or even longer. The second kind, you, in the magical sense, they they call it creating a container. You 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 create an intent of something you want, and you boil it down to a word or a couple of words, a simple phrase. You focus on that while you are building your erotic charge. And then at a certain point, maybe after quite a long time, several hours at least, you go ahead and you ejaculate. But you make sure you keep that intent in your mind the whole time, and that's tricky. Oh, that, that sounds really, like the secret. Um, yeah. There was that documentary about, that. you know, sending out your intention, right? Yep. And this will happen, you know. Um, it's, it's not that you will always instantly get what you want, but... The, the universe will answer you. I can guarantee it if you really do this. Joseph Kramer talks about this in one of his, uh, I think it's still on VHS, I'm not sure it's ever been on DVD, but he has an incredible sex magic uh, teaching and he was doing this with Daoist erotic massage and he decided he wanted to see Mark Wahlberg's penis. And you know this was happening in New York City and he was on a television show just after this happened and, and Joseph was just radiant. He was, he was just glowing okay. in this interview, but he did this and he focused on it successfully. He got up from the table, went down the hall into the men's room and Marky Mark walked in at the next urinal and Joseph looked over and saw it. This <laughs> Not kidding. This really happened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah. And this whole thing about law of attraction is that what you focus on, you will get more of it, you know? But you're adding in this whole phallic element to it. Absolutely, because there are other ways to get into, into ecstatic states. You can do drumming, you can, um, you can do fasting, and any kind of ecstasy can be used for what we call real magic. So, you know, that's still the second kind of male solo sex magic. The third kind is when, okay, the first one is focused within you in a sense. The second one's without you because you're, you're seeking to actually influence what appears to be the world around you. And what I call the third form of solo sex magic is when you really, really, um, you use this energy after doing the first two kinds. Again, this kind of needs to come in order, one, yeah, two, yeah, yeah. to really work well. The third kind is when the boundaries between what's within you and what's out there kind of dissolve. And you're not really distinguishing. You're using this magic simply to transform your life in a way. Wow.